What's up YouTube, Jeff back again today another very exciting Samsung video for you guys. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you guys something that I just noticed on my Galaxy S23 Ultra. I don't know if this came through the September update. Um, this is on One UI 5.1, by the way. It actually is not available yet on the One UI 6.0 beta. I'll actually show you that on my S23 Ultra that's running the beta. Also available on the Fold 5. You can now get unlimited cloud storage backups on your Samsung phone. And I'll show you where to find it in the settings menu. Before we get started, I do want to thank my son Jonathan for giving us an animal to hang out with. The bottlenose dolphin over here today. We always appreciate him giving us something to hang out during the video. And I also want to remind you guys about my sponsors at Southern New Hampshire University. SNHU.edu has a bunch of amazing online bachelor's degree programs that you can get into today to find what you're interested in doing and do it from home. Um, if you go to SNHU.edu slash Springer, which is right here, it'll also be in the pinned comment description. One program that I think would be very interesting to you guys as my audience, we love mobile games, we love mobile, is the Game Programming and Development degree. They have an online BS in Game Programming and Development. You see they're starting very, very soon here, October 21st registration deadline. Um, down here, all you gotta do is fill out this information form and they will get in touch with you. Someone will actually reach out to you to give you more information about the program. Now you can see down here, some of the other facts and figures about this particular degree. A lot of great opportunities here, a lot of hands-on opportunities to learn how to develop games. And if you're someone like me who's interested in mobile, this could be the perfect opportunity to kind of get your life and career going in a new direction. So go check it out, snhu.edu slash Springer. Do it on your own schedule and find what you're interested in and find something that really excites you. We'd like to thank snhu.edu for being sponsors on the channel. Okay, so next, let's talk about the update here on the Samsung devices for, I don't even know where this came from. It came from the September update or what, but if you go into settings now, and then you navigate down to the very bottom here, the bottom-ish, the general management section, you'll see if you scroll down to the reset menu, the reset menu has been completely revamped. And now, under temporary cloud backup, this was there before, there was temporary cloud backup, but they've now added the option for unlimited data to Samsung Cloud for up to 30 days, you can store it. So basically, if you don't have a device that you want to instantly restore the data to, Samsung will let you store as much data as you want to their cloud servers and then come back and restore it later on a new device. Now, what's really cool about this is obviously, if you have a really large size you know, phone, in terms of storage anyway, you can now back up your whole phone. If you have a full terabyte, you could back it up. So if you go into temporary cloud backup, you'll see here, backup is powered by smart switch. If you hit backup data, you'll have to continue and accept the permissions for smart switch. It'll search for the data to back up on the device. And then it'll let you, it'll offer to let you back up literally everything. You can see here it's 2.36 gigabytes. This is not my main phone. You guys know I have the beta on my daily driver. This is my testing S23 Ultra that I use to keep it on the stable channel and also test other things. So there's not a lot on here, but I have, you know, probably 300 gigabytes, 400 gigabytes, I don't know, on my main one. I could back all of that up as well. Now let me show you really quickly though, that this actually is not available. Actually, you can also see down here, there's a really important thing. It says, find out what data can't be backed up. You can see here that you can't get read-only contacts, emergency alert messages, certain apps as well. You wanna note that like blockchain default wallpaper and Galaxy Themes wallpaper, and anything in your secure folder. So you do wanna take note of this because if you have any of the things in these categories, you're gonna to have to back them up separately. And there are some things on there you might want, like calendar events from synced accounts, your Samsung notes, all that stuff that you probably want to keep there. But let me show you really quickly. This is not available yet on the beta. I'll actually do these side by side, so let me set that back there. If you go into general management, this is the One UI 6.0 beta, and you go into the reset menu, it's the old reset menu. You can see right here, the reset menu, you have reset all settings, mobile network, re reset Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, reset accessibility, and uh, you have factory data reset, which is basically what you can do there. It tells you to back up, but it doesn't offer you the option. So if we actually take a look at the difference here, let me put these two side by side so you guys can see. There's that menu there, and here's the one, the new menu, if we go back into general management, go to reset, there's the new menu. So there's the difference between the two menus, you guys can see right there, completely revamped. We had already known this revamp menu was coming. I talked about it like maybe a month ago, 
but we didn't know we were going to get unlimited data backup storage, which is pretty cool. That's a really cool feature. And uh, I also want to show you guys really quickly, it's also available for those of you who are foldable fans. A lot of you tell me, hey, don't forget about the foldables. If you go into general management on the Galaxy Z Fold 5, you can also find it in here. Now, this one, I did notice it after I did the September update. So you guys will have to let me know if you have a fold. Did you see this um, menu before the September update? I didn't. And I actually check, you know, the menus all the time because I'm always making update videos. I haven't seen this one until I got the September update, which was like yesterday. I'm recording this on September 21st. So this might actually have just arrived. And you can see it's still unlimited cloud storage for the Fold 5 as well. So I'm assuming this is going to eventually roll out to all the Samsung phones out there, um, at least all the flagship devices. We should expect to see it on the S22 series and all that. Let me know which phones you guys have and if you noticed this new menu in your settings and when you noticed it, because I just noticed it recently in mine. Let me know if you've noticed it earlier on. Maybe I missed it at some point, but I think it's a really cool feature people should be aware of because it does make it easier if you do need to do a factory data reset. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification icon on future videos like this. Again, if you guys are interested in checking out the game programming and development degree from snhu.edu, go to snhu.edu slash Springer. Sign up using the form here to get more information about the degree. They'll get in touch with you. All you got to do is hit the orange button that says get info. Link's also in the description in the pinned comment. Appreciate you guys checking it out. We appreciate snhu.edu for being sponsors on the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.